Hey everybody, it's One Stop Guy. How's everybody all doing today? Um, today, I want to talk to you guys about uh, 10 ways um, that I do to be very successful as a car salesman, okay? Uh, before we get started, if you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel, please uh, hit the subscribe button. So that way, when uh, I upload the new videos, uh, it's going to notify you, okay? So with that being said, let's get started. Uh, in my last video, um, I talked about how much I made as a car salesman uh, and that uh, it is possible to make over six figures or over 100K, all right? So I do have that video on my car section um, in my channel if you guys want to watch that. I was uh, I told you guys I was going to make another video after uh, that video. Uh, but um, after that video, I had uh, neck surgery, as you guys can see. So I couldn't make any any video after that. Um, so it's been about um, you know about a week after my surgery now. So I'm a little bit better. So I have um, more energy now to uh, make some more videos for you guys to watch. So, but anyway, in this video, I'm gonna show you guys ten ways. Uh, that I that I uh, use myself, um, so that way um, you know it, it helped it helped me made over six figures uh, selling cars in um, popular dealerships in California. Okay, all right. So let's get started. So the first way uh, that um, well I'm going to go down the list basically from number ten to number one, which is the uh, the one I use the most and the most important one for me. All right, so number 10 is basically pretty straightforward. It's every job, right? You got to be prepared. Okay, so number one is to be prepared. Uh, when you go to work, just be prepared. Get all your paperwork ready. Uh, just have a good mindset. Uh, have a goal that you want to uh, accomplish that day. And, um, and what I also do is I always have a clipboard with me. Everywhere I go, I always walk around the dealership. Um, around a lot and um, uh, I pick up a lot of customer that way because a lot of my co-workers all they do is just hide inside their showroom and always complain why they don't have any customers uh, but for me um, I would walk the lot and um, I would be prepared for the day all right so that would be a number 10 um, for me to uh, be successful okay uh, number nine Number nine is pretty much related to number 10, is to up every customer you see, all right? So um, if you're prepared and you're walking the lot, there's gonna be customers on the lot that uh, just looking around, but uh, you just up them because you don't know if they're buying or not, right? So help them. If, if you're the only one that's actually upping them, um, let me backtrack. If you guys don't know what up means, up means is just basically um, helping the next customers that's uh, on the lot that uh, walks into your dealership or on the lot. You up them, meaning you just help them. That's what that what what that's what up means. Okay, so yeah, so just basically just uh, up everyone you see on the lot. The more ups you do, uh, the more chances for you to to make sales. So when I did, I up everybody. Okay, I don't care. You know. I'm on commission anyway, so I mean I got nothing to do, so why not um, up everybody and have uh, 10 people, let's just say up 10 people and you know 10% I make one sell, so one or two sell, uh, it's worth it, it's worth my time and it's worth it, you know, so yeah, so number one, I mean number nine is to up everybody that you see walking in the lot, okay, that's what I do, all right? All right, so number eight <laughs> pretty much relates to every job. Um, don't uh, goof off with your coworkers or don't uh, huddle up with them. Just stay further away from them as much as possible. Try to be in one corner of the lot or walk the lot and uh, don't chit chat with them because if you do, you're gonna lose an opportunity to uh, up that customer that walks in the door that could be a potential sell. Okay, so <laughs> when I used to work at the, the dealership, uh, so funny that all my coworkers would uh, huddle up and just uh, chit chat, chilling, 
um, just sitting on the computer, watching, you know, movies, YouTube and all that stuff. And then after that, they complain why they have no customers. Okay. So that's, uh, that's what I do. I don't, uh, huddle with any of my, my coworkers. I just stay alone. I walk to the, I, I walk the lot. Um, and I try to help as many people as possible. It's not that I don't talk to with my car coworkers. I do, but when it's time to do business, I try to, uh, um, you know, make use of my time when I'm there. So I walk the lot and I um, talk to everybody that's on the lot. All right. So number eight, don't huddle up with your coworker or waste time with your coworker. Okay. Number seven would be don't uh, prejudge a customer. Okay. I never prejudge a customer. Whenever I see a kid or a, whenever I see a, an older gentleman that looks rich or, or anybody, I up them all, okay? Doesn't matter, you know. I've up, I've up people that looks rich, but but never bought it, never buys cars. They just come and basically want a test drive and never buy it. And there's times where I up a kid where it looks like he has no money, but he's actually a buyer, and you know I make a lot of money off of that guy. So um, never prejudge anybody. Um, help everybody you see. Um, up everybody. And don't think because uh, they look young and they have no money, meaning they won't buy, you know? So uh, usually my tip to you is usually the young guys are the one that's gonna buy or the people that uh, that looks like they have bad credit, they're the, usually the one that's gonna buy. So, um, so up them, okay? Don't uh, lose that opportunity, all right? So that's uh, number seven. Don't prejudge anybody before you help them, all right? Number six. So let's say you made a sale already um, with that customer, uh, you would want to ask for referral, all right? So that's what I do every time when I make a sale with that current customer, I would always ask for a uh, referral and um, it works, all right? Because when you sell to that customer and they like the way you help them, they're gonna refer you more customers or even their friends and family um, that that's been looking for a car, they're going to send them all your way. And so most of my deals are from a lot of my uh, current customer that I sold the cars to, and they would tell their friends to come ask for me uh, and ask for me only. And they actually wait for me um, and then buy the car from, from me. So number six, ask for referral after you, you complete your sale. Okay. Uh, number five, this one relates to number six, actually. Um, contact previous clients all right um basically if they already bought a car from you maybe two years ago they may be looking for a second car or they may want to trade in their um you know their their car that you sold them to them before because if you don't make the car the call they may forget forgot about you they, you know, they may or may not you know remember you so if you call them and remind them that, that you sold them the car to them then uh you know they may trade that car in and you uh might get a second deal off of them and then also what i do is i contact my previous clients from other jobs that i had before like let's say if you used to do insurance or if you used to do uh selling cell phones or whatever you do selling solar system whatever before you can always contact those people and say hey you know what I'm in the car business now, so if you need a, if you need a car, give me a call. You know, so I get a, I did that, so I got a, f a few um, previous clients buying, a, you know, calling me back and buying a car for you know for their uh, personal use or even for their business. Okay, so that is um, number five is contact previous clients. All right, number four, this is what I do too. It may or may not work for everybody, but uh, you can also advertise yourself on newspaper or radio. Some dealerships um, offer to pay for you, but if they don't, you can just go and um, go to your local newspaper uh, store or uh, your uh, community. Let's just say you speak uh, Vietnamese or if you speak Spanish, like for me, I speak Vietnamese. so. I would go to my local uh, Vietnamese uh, newspaper store and I would advertise myself um, uh, in Vietnamese language. So that way 
I can get some, at least some uh, Vietnamese clients to come and buy a car from me. So, I mean, you spend like say a hundred to two hundred dollars a month on newspaper uh, advertisement, and you get just, and if you get like you know, two or three deals, that basically you know pays for the newspaper ad and a little bit more. So, and, it, and it's not just that when you advertise yourself, uh, other people see you on the newspaper and. Um, your name and your face is out there so it's being known you see what I mean so it's all about being known and, you know even if you made no money off of the newspaper ad but they know who you are and uh, in the future if they need a car they're gonna call you all right so number four is place yourself in some type of newspaper ad all right uh, number three this is what I usually do all the time and it's free advertising okay um, every time when I go eat at a restaurant, um, uh, I would all, and be, you know, I eat at a restaurant and when I finish, I go up to the uh, cashier to pay my bill. What I would do is I would put a stack of my business card right there by the register. So that way, if other customers or other clients, they go up and they pay bills, they can see my business cards. Okay. And that is free advertising right there. Just make sure to ask the owner that um, they'll allow you to leave it on their the counter most of them are pretty cool about it so um, they'll let you do that okay so that is number three leave your business card uh, at restaurants where you go eat because that's a lot of clients right there walking by on the register and you can you know out of a thousand customer that uh, actually you know see your business card and if you can get uh, five or ten uh, clients or even one or two clients, it's worth it. OK, so, uh, yeah. So number two would be put your business card at restaurants. OK, that's what I do. All right. Number two, number two is the one I, I do daily. Right. Uh, it's called Facebook. I know all of you guys heard of Facebook or other social media like Twitter and, uh, you know, other uh, places Instagram and stuff like that but I use Facebook most of the time so whenever I uh, uh, sell a car to a client I would always take a picture of my client and post it on my Facebook and that way all my other friends would see that I, I sold so many cars and I have so many happy customers and what does that tell you um, it shows uh, your friends and family that uh, you know, you made, you know, a lot of customer happy. So, and um, it makes them trust you. So they would contact you for a car. For me, I got many, many, many customers through Facebook, um, Facebook, uh, yeah, through Facebook. And they would always um, private, message, private message me through Facebook and buy a car. So I have a lot of my friends and family on Facebook that uh, bought cars from me. So number two, uh, second most things that I do uh, that works for me the most is Facebook all right so you can do that as well and number one pretty straightforward uh, pretty similar to number two Facebook is number one is contact your friends and family okay friends and family they will always trust you so basically these these are like your personal friends and family okay Facebook is more like yeah, you know, you got a bunch of people on Facebook that uh, kind of know, kind of knows you, but not really know you in person. Uh, but uh, for number one, friends and family, these are the the one that's close to you that knows you, like your brother and sister, your cousin, you know, or your friend that you you've known for a long time. These are the people that's gonna trust you and buy cars from you. Okay, so the number one, the most important is contact your friends and family and let them all know that you're in the car business and that you're you're here to help them um you know sell a car if they ever do need a car okay so those are the 10 things that i do to help me be very successful in the car business and that's how i made over six figures okay and um consistently selling over 25 to 30 cars every single month so that way i have that type of income 
So if you guys haven't watched that other video, the video before this one, um, where I show you guys my uh, real income, W, uh, I show you my W, uh, w, w2, two, two, 2017 and 2018, where it shows that I made over six figures. All right, so watch that video so you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, in this video, I just wanted to let you guys know these are the 10 ways that I do and uh, it helps me. So, you know, you guys may have other ways to do it, uh, but these are these are the 10 ways that helped me and I just wanted to share it out, uh, share out there with you guys, okay? So if you guys are, you know, looking into being in the car business, be, uh, you guys are green P, meaning that you're new in the business, or you just started the business and you need some, you know, uh, tips and tricks, these will be your, you know, these 10 things can hopefully help you out, all right? So, um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, if you guys have any questions or comment, uh, do leave them below. Or if you guys have any other ideas or anything that you guys do to help you guys sell more cars, leave them in the co comment section so that way it can help other uh, car salesmen and stuff like that and um if and also if you haven't already subscribed to my channel uh please do hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so that way when i have the next video uh about uh cars or selling cars i'm gonna have more videos okay so make sure to to subscribe and um that way you guys don't miss out my new video okay and uh stuff like that all right guys so that's all i got for you guys today and i hope uh these 10 tips uh will at least help you guys out to make a couple more deals or a little bit more money all right so with that being said just hope uh just thanks for watching and um you guys have a great day have a nice uh take care guys bye bye